morning, Mustangs. I'm Emily Bergen, and you're watching Mustang Nation News. Athletic physical paperwork is on Schoology for the 2021-2022 school year. This week is the last week of the six weeks. Make sure your stuff is turned in and you're prepared for your test. There will be English EOCs this week. Make sure you check where you will be taking the test. If you have any questions, talk to Ms. Bowman. It has been brought to our attention that many students are not following dress code. Although you might not agree with it, it must be followed. As we all know, no shorts above four inches of the knee are allowed, as well as ribs and jeans. No tank tops, strapless shirts, and crop tops are allowed. You cannot have any piercings on your face. Only females are allowed to have earrings in their ear. Men cannot have any facial hair or long hair below the collar. Men can have a mustache, but it must be groomed and taken care of. All students must be well-groomed and well-managed before coming to school. You look at the business world, people show up to the business world dressed for success. They, they're, they're dressed in a business attire. We take the same approach at school. Some of, it, some, of the, the, um, some of the requirements in dress code are for school safety. But a lot of it has to deal with we want our kids to look, uh, be, be looked upon in a positive manner. At the same time, when we have those certain students, that uh, it takes a little bit more for them to pick up on the dress code requirements, well then you start looking at referrals and, and things like that. And we go down that avenue if it's the first offense or second offense or third offense. And we usually call home, talk to parents, things like that. Another issue seen is the usage of cell phones in the classrooms. Phones must be turned off and put into your backpack. Teachers will have a designated area for your cell phones and or backpack. If a student gets their phone taken up, they get charged a $15 fee and their parent has to come to pick up the cell phone. If a student um, refuses to give their phone to the teacher when asked to turn it in, they'll be sent to OCS for three to five days in addition to the $15 fee. Okay. The parent is supposed to be present um, when picking up the student phone and I'll give you a, a good reason why. Then the student could hypothetically uh, use a parent's credit card, take it, use it, pay for it through Skyward if they know their password and then the parent never knows about it uh, and so that's why we require the parent to be present when picking it up. That wraps up today's announcements. I'm Emily Bergen. Have a terrific Tuesday and stay golden, Mustangs.